Okay, so today I want to talk about uh, three licks that will make you sound like Peter Frampton. What we're doing is we're taking sort of the idea of do you feel like we do. So I'm going to be playing this in the key of A, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the hybrid scale that you see Peter Frampton use. Um, this is a really useful scale, by the way. It's a combination of a few of them. It's a combination of your pentatonic scale, your Dorian scale, and your blue scale. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. I'll play the scale and then we'll break it down. Cool. So what we've got on the top string, we have the 5th, 7th, and 8th frets. We're coming down to the next string, 5, 6, 7. Next two strings, you've got um, 4, 5, 7 on both of them. And then on this string, it would actually be three notes. I didn't play it the first time. Five, six, seven, eight. And then on the bottom string, five, seven, eight. So five, seven, eight, uh, five, six, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, six, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Now that's a hybrid scale, so you're not really gonna necessarily find a name for it, but it's a good scale to kind of rip in for that Frampton 70s rock thing. The first lick I did, I went through the top of it and I kind of went back into this B note here. I went. Okay, so in, in that lick, I'm essentially just playing the scale note for note. I'm going five, seven, eight, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, slide back to four. With a little bit of speed behind it, you hear more of the Frampton thing. Um, the second thing I did is I ascended through the rest of the scale until I got to the top here. I went. So that is again, pretty much following the scale from the D string, you're going four, five, seven, G, same thing. Four, five, seven, four, five, seven. On the B string, you're going um, five, six, eight, and then when we come up to the E string, we're gonna go five, seven, eight, and then we're doing a series of pull-offs. Even that on its own gets that uh, Frampton, do you feel like we do kind of thing. So you can repeat that as much as you want, and then when you end it, you're just doing two whole step ends on the eighth fret. You notice I just backtrack through it. I, I that on the way back up, I used the, the seven that I didn't on the way down. Now the last hallmark of that particular song that I think is pretty important is he plays over in this section of the fretboard. Okay, so the way that I look at it is if we're in the key of A, the majority of the scale is going to be the A natural minor scale. So if we think about the mode that comes before A natural minor, we have G mixolydian. So G mixolydian would look like this on the guitar. And you can actually see that on the bottom two strings, it connects to the pattern we had previously done. Mixolydian is a really, really friendly guitar player key because the top three strings are identical. So in, in this particular box, we've got the fifth, seventh, or sorry, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. And we're gonna have that on the top three strings. So that would work over a G chord um, a G dominant seven chord, but this can also work over top of an A minor chord. So now we're kind of in the progression itself. And, uh, what he has done is taken this little box right here. So that's the third and the fifth on the, um, on the A and the D. Yeah, get some wah going. That's the do you feel like we do part. That's the talking guitar. All right, so that's three licks that'll help you sound like Peter Frampton.